I'm building my soccer field now. I have the basic rectangle shape with the correct dimensions here. And now I'm ready to build the center line here. But of course, in order to build that line, I need some vertices. So I need to put a vert vertex in the middle of this upper line. And one of the easiest ways to do that, highlight both vertices and the edge. And you can see two vertices, one edge selected. I'm going to edge and you can subdivide. That will cut it in half and put a vertex in the middle. Do the same thing down here. Edge, subdivide. All right, so now we have this set up. I'm gonna grab just the two vertices and F will fill in right there. So that is one way to uh, cut your field in half. I'm gonna undo this a few times. There's another way. Now, if I can create a vertical line here, I can intersect it with the tiny CAD. But in order to do that, I have to create that vertical line. So I am going to duplicate just this vertex, Shift D, and it will follow the mouse. I'm gonna do my best to put it here. Obviously it's not perfect, but you can click on it and let's see, item transform. Now you do need to know the dimensions of the field. It was 90 across, so I need to go 45 is halfway. I'm intentionally leaving it above this right here. And I'm gonna shift D, duplicate, move it down, and I'm just gonna go ahead and type 45 here. So the X coordinates correct, the Y coordinates are outside of where they need to be, but I'm gonna fill it in with F. It's tempting to just go and take this one and move it here, and even if you do that perfectly with the coordinates, it won't actually be attached. And this, the horizontal uh, edge will only be one edge. I want to actually subdivide it. So I'm going to undo this a couple times. I need to intersect these two. Um, actually, might as well just do all this at one time. So I have the vertical and the two horizontal lines selected. And I'm going to go tiny CAD and intersect, let's see, intersect selected edges. There we go. You do need to go back to the vertex uh, selection to see what happened. Now I'm going to go to edges just to be safe. I got one edge, two edge, three edge, four edge, five edge. This is what I wanted. Again, I showed you how to do this the fast way the first time, but sometimes if it's not cut in half, you can't just subdivide. So I come in here. You can either be in edge or vertex select mode. It doesn't matter. Uh, if I delete this, just this one vertex, delete right there, it'll delete also the edge attached to it. The other option is you could select them both, go to delete and go only edges and faces. So it deleted the edge. Now I have to come in and delete the vertex. Uh, so either way, this is how to cut that in half.